Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this joint presentation between Brockton Community Access and the Brockton High School Television Production Club of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball. Tonight the Lady Boxers with just one loss on the season against five wins. Welcome in the Barnstable Red Raiders to the City of Champions. My name is Peter Zimbor. Join alongside my broadcast partner Jackie Jones, a student at Brockton High School. Jackie, good evening and welcome to the game. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be yeah, here. Brockton is decked out in their white jerseys, the Barnstable Red Raiders wearing, what else would you expect but red? Mm -hmm. If they're going to raid you, they're going to do it in red, Jackie. Of course. Four eight-minute quarters being played in high school Division I women's basketball. Brockton's number four, Giannacia Silva-Moore, bringing the ball down the floor, gets it over to number 23, Jelani Jackson. Tatiana Diaz with the ball over to Silva-Moore. Silva-Moore inside the paint, takes it to the hole herself, lays it up and in. Brockton draws first blood. They lead 2-0 with seven minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. You ever been to Barnstable, Jackie? Yeah, oh, excuse me, what was that? Have you ever been to Barnstable? Barnstable? No, I never even heard of that. Oh, it's the team we're playing. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. They've tied the game at two. Seven minutes and eight seconds left to go in the first quarter. You'd heard of them before this game, or no? No, this is my first time. So you don't know of any happening spots yeah. in Barnstable is what you're telling me? No. <laughs> Six minutes and 52 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton takes it inside the hole, and that is number 24, Catherine Lewis, putting off the glass. And then Brockton leads once again by a score of 4-2. to two. Bonsville Red Raiders moving the ball around the perimeter. Good defensive play by Brockton. However, the Barnstable Red Raiders nearly able to regroup, but traveling called against Barnstable Brockton inbound from midcourt. So Jackie, tell us a little bit about yourself. What grade are you in? What year are you in here at Brockton High School? I am a senior here at Brockton High School. I am in the Azure Building. Class of 14? Yes, the best class ever. What's your slogan? Um, 2014, who you want to, no, it's, I'm sorry. It's XIV, who you want to be. And our class t-shirts. It's what? XIV, who you want to be. XIV is the... No, oh, the okay, I gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, I, was, I didn't understand the rhyming of it at first because <laughs> I was 05 and it was something something with a live. I don't know. And yeah. what does it say on your T-shirts? Um, this is our house, and the um, H is formed into a... Four, well, the 14 is formed into an H. You have to see it. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> 4-4 four four is your score. We're tied up. 5 minutes and 33 seconds left to go. Brockton from the outside. No good. Brockton vying for the rebound. And I think it was kicked out of bounds. No? I think no so, kick too. Ball. No kick ball is called. They're going to say out of bounds against Barnstable. It'll be Brockton ball. Yeah. XIV is what? Who you want to be. Who you want to be. <laughs> XIV. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Interesting. You got to make something up to 14. Do you like that? I like it. I mean... It's catchy. Is, is there any better options? Um, we do like a hand clap. 2014, 2014. Do it for me right now. <gasps> no. <laughs> you want me to do it? Yes. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. Okay. Please, please go for it. 2014, 2014, 2014, 2014. Like it? It wasn't as impressive as I thought it was going to be, truthfully. You have, you have to see it when like all of us are together. Like, okay. It's amazing, I'm telling you. We're all tied up at four, five minutes and ten seconds left to go here in the opening quarter. Brockton and Barnstable. We're talking to Jackie Jones, my broadcast partner for the evening, a senior at Brockton High, class of 2014. XIV, who you want to be, folks? Yes. 
Number 23 with the ball for Brockton. That, of course, being Jelani Jackson. Jelani Jackson draws a foul. She'll be going to the line to shoot two. What do you think of that Miley Cyrus song, 23, as we have number 23 at the free throw line? Um, I'm really not a fan of Miley Cyrus. So you don't like that song? No, I don't really listen to her music. It's like my favorite song right now. Really? I like it. It's catchy. Yeah. Jelani Jackson is actually a freshman. Wow. She's the only freshman on the team. She's from 2018. Know what I mean? <laughs> That'll be their t-shirt. That could work with 14 as well, but... Yeah. She hits one of two at the free throw line. Five to four is your score. Brockton on top. Four minutes and 47 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. So what class are you taking here in your senior year at Brockton High School, and what teachers do you have, Jackie Jones? Um, for... My human physiology, I have Miss Logan. Miss Rogan? Miss Logan. Miss Logan. Yes. She's an airport named after her. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, classes we have? Oh my gosh. For English, I have Mrs. Onabog, and she's an Azure teacher. Miss Onabog. I yes. remember Miss Onabog. Really? Her son Carl went to school with me, yes. Wow. You graduated, oh, oh, five, you did say that. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I have acting class with Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan, that's Hulk's brother. <laughs> really? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, my gosh. I just fell for that. <laughs> that's funny. It's his brother. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Hogan have any, has any brothers. He, he does. He's a wrestler. Um, we have number 12 for Barnstable at the line as Barnstable trails Brockton by 1-5-4 with 4-13 left to go. Continue on with other teachers you have. Um, and I have Mr. Fisher for math. Mr. Fisher? Yes. He has a ponytail. Yeah, I remember Mr. Fisher. He's so cool. He's like the best teacher ever. I, I do remember Mr. Fisher. I had Miss Fisher, his sister, sister yeah. as an English teacher. Those are all tied up at five here with 4.10 to go in the opening quarter. Brockton with the ball. And that is number four for Brockton. Gianasia Silvermore giving Brockton back the lead seven to five now with four minutes flat on the clock here in the first. Any other teachers you have for academics at Brockton High, or is that simply it? Um, well, next semester I have Mr. Hazelwood for African American History. Don't remember Miss Hazelwood. I don't recall she, her being there when I was there. Oh, Mr. Mr. Hazelwood. I, I don't recall him either. <laughs> yeah. You're in the Azure building. Yes, that's the best building. That's the building I was in, so I, I would tend to agree. I had Mr. Burley for history when I was in the Azure building, and I believe he still works there. Yes, he does. He does. He's a good teacher. I also had Mr. Zach. He has since retired. Yeah. He's pretty cool, too. Mr. Zach was the husband of Dr. Zach, who's also since retired. Everyone's retiring. I know. It's so sad. Are you really saddened by it? Yeah. It's not the same without Dr. Zach. She's, like, the best. Well, well you know the current principal is watching this. <laughs> I love Miss Wilder. She's the best, too. She really is. She might have been hurt by the comments you made moments ago and might decide not to graduate you. You might be <laughs> class of 15, you know what I mean? No. And that is going to be a body bump, courtesy of number 12 for Barnstable against Tatiana Diaz for Brockton. So Diaz will head to the line to shoot two as Brockton's a two-point lead, 7-5 with 3.09 left to go in the first quarter. So what changes have there been since there's been a new principal as opposed to the former Dr. Zach? Well... There's not many changes, but it's just weird, like, in the morning. Like, they usually said the Honorable Dr. Zag, because I've been, like, here for, like, three years. Now they're saying Mrs. Wilder, but that's it, really. How much changes. Um, Dr. Zag still actually comes to, like, the football games and stuff. Yeah. I believe that I was a part of the graduating class that was the first that Dr. Zach had that it, she'd been a principal for for uh, four years. Yeah. But we actually had a principal. We had a principal for like the first few months of my freshman year that was not Dr. Zach. We had Mr. Marrow. And we get another foul we'll called against Barnstable. Brockton head to the line again. It's Gianasia Silvermore, number four. Eight to five, your score. Brockton on top. Two fifty-three left to go in the opening quarter here at Staff Gymnasium. Peter Zimborn and Jackie Jones calling the action. You have a very cool name, Jackie Jones. Anyone to tell you that? I know it's the best. I have the best name in the world. <laughs> there was a talk show on when I was a kid hosted by Jenny Jones. Joneses, people like to keep up with us, you know? <laughs> Very keep common name. Who's your, most, who's, who's your most favorite famous Jones in the world? 
Hmm. Well, I love Noel Jones, and he's a, he's a he's a bishop. He's a pastor in California. Is he a celebrity though? Yeah, he is. Mel Jones. Noel. Noel Jones. Yes, Noel Jones. Do you know three pointer by Lady Boxes, twelve to five, Brockton on top. Two minutes and thirty seconds left to go here in the opening quarter. Every year during uh, Christmas time, he's always um, in that song, The First Noel. Yeah. He is. It was written after him. <laughs> so what's his name again? Noel Jones? Yes, Noel Jones. It's it, pronounced Noel. Noel, okay. Yeah. So he's, he's what makes him famous? He's a, he's a pastor. He preaches like all, over the, like all over the world. And people come and see him? Yeah. How did he get so famous? About preaching, I guess. Does he preach about... God, Christianity, things in the Bible, stories. And he's a rock on tour that just travels around and people come and see him. Yep, and he even sings. He sings? Yes. Has he released an album? Excuse me? Has he released an album? Um, I think so. Noel he's Jones? A, yep. So if I, if I YouTube some Noel Jones tonight, a bunch of stuff going to pop up? Yep. And he's your favorite Jones of all time, famous Jones. He's one of my favorites, yeah. Okay. I can't think of any on the top of my head other than myself. <laughs> Let's go through the list right now. There's Mike Jones. Remember the rapper Mike Jones? Oh, yeah. I'm Mike Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. Do that one part with me. Ready? One, two, three. I'm, I'm Mike Jones. Jones. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of Joneses. Our former light heavyweight champ, Roy Jones. Jonathan Crows oh. had a song called Mr. Jones. Yes. And you that song, um, Me and Mrs. Jones. That's right. Yeah. I like that song. Not to be confused with Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus will love you more than you will know. Oh, oh, oh. cover that coming to the next Noel Jones album. <laughs> Barnstable with the ball as they trail Brockton 12 to 5 with the buck 45 left to go in the opening quarter. Brock with the rebound off the missed shot courtesy of Barnstable. Brockton bring the ball down the floor. Giannisha Silvermore off the glass. No good. Rebound this time by Barnstable. I think that Brockton was just getting so happy taking to the hole and drawing fouls that she might have forced that one just a little bit. But nevertheless, Brockton has a lead with a buck 25 left to go here in the first quarter. What are your favorite classes to take at Brockton High, Jackie Jones? Acting. Acting? Yes. I love acting. With uh, Mr. Hogan? Yep. He's one of my favorite teachers, actually. He's really, he's really cool. He's a cool guy. Hulk Hogan did some acting. He was in a movie called Mr. Nanny, where Hulk Hogan is a nanny, and the... Uh, is this real? This is real. The poster, I remember, was Hulk Hogan wearing a ballerina outfit, a tutu. And, and, no, and he was also in a Christmas movie. What? I'm not making this up either. It was called Santa with Muscles. I have to see this. They probably are two of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> well, were they in theaters? Oh, they were in theaters. Wow. They were in theaters. He was also in a great movie that maybe it's not so great, but it was cool to me when I was like five years old called No Holds Barred. And he was also in Suburban Commando. Never heard of that. You'll have to ask your teacher, Mr. Hogan, about these fine pieces of theater that <laughs> Hulk Hogan was a part of. 14 to 5, Brockton on top, 45 seconds to go. So what makes Mr. Hogan so cool? Um, he has a lot of personality to him. It's never a dull moment around him. He's just always jubilant and happy. Bonstable down low makes it a 14-7 game. Brockton looking to extend upon the lead from the outside. Yes, Brockton up by 10, 17 to 7. 18 seconds go here in the first quarter. Brockton's looking very good here through the first quarter of play, Jackie Jones. Yes, they are. Never a dull moment in this game, much like a Mr. Hogan class. And the first quarter ends. 
And the Lady Box is very much in control. 17 to 7 is your score. You're watching BCA Sports. This is a joint presentation of Brockton Community Access and the Brockton High School Television Production Club. And it's that club which brings us Jackie Jones to the broadcast table today. Mr. Hogan going to be pleased with your broadcasting experience thus far, you think? I think so. You're going to play this for him? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Well, actually I might because I think I'm doing really good. Okay. I think you do an excellent as well. Thank you. What is your favorite class besides acting at Brockton High? My favorite class besides acting? Oh, my gosh. I forgot to tell you. I'm in chorus, repertory chorus, uh -huh. with Mr. Cunningham. Mr. Cunningham? Yes, Mr. Cunningham. He was actually a, um, a student at Brockton High. I did not know that. Yeah. And you sing? Yes, I do sing. What songs are you singing currently as a part of this chorus? Currently? Oh my gosh. We're learning, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but um, we're learning this new Spanish song. And, um, well, we just came back to school this week, so this is a brand new song. Can you sing a little for us then? Are you okay, Jackie Jones? Yes, I'm okay. Why do you look so astonished right now? <laughs> no reason. This game is just amazing. Who is amazing? This game. Oh, excellent. Can you sing a little for us um, of that chorus song? Locked in for three. Giannisha Silva Moore. Giannisha Silva Moore with a three-pointer. Brockton on top, 20 to seven. Seven minutes and 26 seconds to go here in the first half. Traveling called against Barnstable Brockton Ball. Sing a little for us here in chorus. Give us a song. A song? Yeah, I'd love I'd love a song since you don't know the name of it. Sing it for us so that we can. You're in chorus. You sing. Come on. Here we go. One, two, <laughs> three. Wait, I'm not, I don't like to sing like. Well, why are you in well, chorus? I, like, I love to sing. But, but but why are you in chorus if you don't want to sing publicly? Because I'm trying to learn how to sing publicly and be comfortable singing publicly. Well, let's get over that fear right now. Right now. What better place than here? What better time than now? Let's sing. Ready? <laughs> how about you sing with me? Okay. Uh, what song would you like to sing? Any song. Well, any song you want to sing, I'll sing with you. Okay. I have to go. I have to sing with you, though. That's the deal? Yeah. Uh, give me some music that you enjoy, and I will pick something out of the repertoire that we both know and enjoy. Um, I love R&B music. Okay, give me some artists. Um, Kiki Wyatt. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> uh, Faith Evans. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, yeah. Satana Diaz lays it in, Brockton up 22-7. to 7. Brockton is really running away with this one. Destruction and destroy. That is Brockton's motto going into this game, and they were living up to it right now. All right, besides Faith Evans and Kiki, whatever her name is. Uh, D'Angelo. Is that guy still alive? Yes, he is. Last time I saw him, he was on TMZ, and he was significantly more pudgy than when he was in his heyday and apparently addicted to crack. Oh, my God. Three-pointer by Barnstable. Brockton still leads 22-10 to 10 with 6.24 to go. What's your favorite D'Angelo song? Um, Cruisin'. I remember that song. How does it feel? Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it hit that high note well? <laughs> yes. Thank you, appreciate that. Perfect. Ready? I was a little concerned about going that high, but... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound as ridiculous as I thought it would. I mean, it only sounded slightly ridiculous. <laughs> so besides those three people, give me another one, because we're trying to figure out who we're going to sing together so that we can get you to sing publicly. Oh, you really want me to sing? Yeah, but you gotta give me give me some more artists so I can pick from the repertoire because we're gonna duet. Okay, um, I love Tamar Braxton. Okay, that's like Tony Braxton's sister. sister. Yep, um, I love Tony Braxton as well. She's ridiculous. I love her. How's that song go? Unbreak my heart. Yep. Say, yep, say love me again. Mhm. Mm we can do that part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna foul going against. Barnstable, and this brings numero 23 to the line once again for Brockton, Jelani Jackson. Too bad he didn't like that song 23 by Miley Cyrus. I could sing that. But uh, we're going to go with uh, Tony Braxton's Unbreak My Heart. Here we go. Ready? Wait, actually, no. Wrecking Brawl. Wrecking Ball. Well, I, uh, you know, I didn't like that song for the longest time, and now I do. 
What makes you? What made you like it? I just heard it so many times that I now enjoy it. I have a wrecking ball Christmas ornament that someone got me for Christmas. What? That's true. What does it look like? Like it's like wrecking ball. It, 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 it's 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 Miley on top of like oh. an ornament, which is a wrecking ball, like the video. Where did I buy that? Did you ask? I, I, no, I did not ask, and um, I think she made it. Wow. She eliminated herself, I believe. So, uh, Jamie, if you're watching, thank you for that Christmas ornament. It will uh, be a decorative item on my Christmas tree for years to come. So, well, I, I like I like the Tony Braxton songs. Okay, you ready? On the count of three. Oh, my gosh. You said you would sing if I sang with you. Did you not? I did, I did. I okay, did. here we go. One, two, three. Unbreak Un my heart. heart. You're in chorus? That's how you sound? Come on, you do better than that. No. Say you love me again. Something, something, something. Perfect. That's great. Also, great. I felt Air I done. did most of the singing. <laughs> 24 to 10, Brockman on top five. 21 to go here in the half. See, I felt that was unfair. I did most of the singing. No, I felt like you needed to have your own solo right there. No, I, but the that, that, no, no. I, I want to hear you your really voice. Are. You're in. You know. I'm going to tell you, course teacher, that I don't think you're singing in course. I think you're just mouthing the words and hoping that everyone around you is, like, keeping up. Because I think you're afraid to sing. I'm not afraid to sing when it's, like, a group of people. Like Are ensemble. we not a group? How many more people do we have to get in those groups to be comfortable? I think we're more of, like, a duo. Like. So what, what constitutes a group? Like, more than three people So we need four people. Book. Okay, we need four people. So if we get two more people to sing with us, you will sing on this broadcast. Yeah. Three pointer. Brockton leads 29 to 10. 441 to go. Brockton is kicking butt here at Staff Gymnasium. Jackie, this can be done. Okay. If anyone in the truck isn't doing much, come on up and help us get a Jackie Jones to sing. And if there's any <laughs> TV club students that are currently without occupation, shall we say? <laughs> Send them up as well, and uh, they can join in on the fun because we're going to get Jackie Jones to sing. She says she loves singing, I do. but she has not really sang for us just yet. And this, this folks, is a problem. 29 to 10 is your score, Brockton, on top. Four minutes and 41 seconds to go here in the first half. <coughs> so D'Angelo's still around. Um, I'm not sure who he is. I just love his music. Okay. I like a lot of 90s music. Ah, okay. Yes. Well, that's some '90s music. Like I was, I was alive for all ten decades of the '90s. <laughs> um, I love "Weak" by SWV. SWV Sisters with Voices. Voices. Yep. Yes. I love TLC. All right. I love Salt and Pepper. That's the reason why I don't go chasing waterfalls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I was a big TLC fan. Uh, not TLC. I was a big TLC fan in third grade. I was a big Salt and Pepper fan in first grade. I used to sing salt and pepper lyrics that were obscene because I thought it was cool <laughs> in first grade. <laughs> so, uh, can you spit some salt and pepper for us? I can, but I don't know if I can sing this song with my guys. I know the song Shoop. I like. I know Shoop all the words. Shoop Yep, I know all the words to it. Okay, I'll, I'll start the lyric and then you finish it. Here I go. Here I go. Here, here I go again. Girls, what's my weakness? Okay, then, chillin', chillin', mindin' my business. Yo, so I looked around and I couldn't believe this. I swear, I said, my niece, my witness. <laughs> so you will not sing in public, but evidently you'll rap. That's pretty cool. Yep. You make me want to shoot. Shoot, baby. Shoot, Shoot, baby. Shoot, baby. Shoot, baby. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm pretty awesome, huh? You are pretty awesome, Jackie Jones. You know what's an underrated TLC song? I like that song, Creep. You think and it's underrated? I creep. Yeah. yeah. I like that song. Me too. Everyone's all about the waterfalls and the, yeah. and the, and the no scrubs and stuff. I like the um, the song, What About Your Friends? I, I, I know that song as well, yes. I know that song. Did you see that movie about TLC on TV recently? Yeah. I, I haven't seen it yet. How was it? It was really good. Kiki Palmer did a really good job. And Little little Mama. She did a really good job. Like, Is Kiki Palmer the singer you spoke of earlier I never heard of? Kiki Palmer? No. Kiki Wyatt. Kiki, Kiki Wyatt? Yes. 
That's a cool name, Kiki. Yep. <coughs> uh, Brockton heading the line again. It's Giannisha Silva Moore. 314 to go in the half. Brockton on top 29 to 12. So outside of this, so outside of those acts, you like what other bands from the '90s you enjoy? Um, let me see. It's a lot. There's so many. Oh, just give me some. Let's go. Okay, '90s. I love. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think right now. Why? I don't know why you can't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already said Tony Braxton. She was in the '90s. Um, Escape. Escape? Escape. What are they singing again? I remember them existing. Understanding? I have no idea what song that is. Who can I run to? No idea. I guess Escape has not really stood the test of time. <laughs> they cannot escape from that one song, get it? Rocking up by 20, 32 to 12, 250 to go. Someone else I've heard of. Uh, 90s or just in general? Let's go with 90s since that was the theme we were on. Okay. Silva Moore for three, sinks it. Janisha Silva Moore says, give me some more three-pointers. <laughs> so another 90s artist you enjoy? Off the top of my head. Yeah, off the top of your head. Okay. Um, or in the middle or the bottom, or wherever. <laughs> I also listen to, like, um, gospel music, too. I, I, I thought that you did, considering you liked... Uh, Noel, Noel Jones. Jones, the preacher. Yep. My favorite, my all-time favorite artist of like life <laughs> is um, Kiara Shared. By the way, Jane Silva Silvermore. Should we call for a charge there? What happened? I think she did. Here's what it is. Brockton leads 35 to 12. Who's your all-time favorite artist? Kiara Shared. I'm a huge fan as well. Are you serious? No, I've never oh heard of her. Oh <laughs> my god. I love her. I'll put that on my to Google list along with uh, Noel Jones. What do you like currently? Like Beyonce album. Beyonce? Oh my gosh. You like her new album? Yes, love it. What do you think of her sampling the, um, the space astronauts dying? That was number 10 from Rockton. Natasha Elias sinks it. She's just a junior. Rocking on top 38 to 12. This is turning into a route, folks. Yeah, what do you think of Beyonce sampling the NASA space station commands when that when the Challenger blew up? That was kind of sad. Yeah. Good call on her part or no? It's like a happy video and happy song, too, and you're like, yeah, I, that's kind of weak. I didn't really get that. Like, really Beyonce, what are you doing? That. Just trying to offend astronauts and stuff like that? These people actually died. What's your favorite Beyonce song? Um, my favorite, it's Blue. This song is about her daughter. And I also love Drunken Love by her. Alright. What do you think of her new album? That she like released without telling anyone? And just did it? I think that she's like the only person that would be able to do that. Who else should like currently besides Beyonce? Um, like I said, Kiara Shared. All right. And that's like all I listen to, Kiara Shared. And I love reggae music. I listen to a lot of reggae, old. Like reggae. Bob Marley. Yes, Bob Marley. Inside the paint, Jelani Jackson. She's double J, like Jackie Jones. Best initials in the world. <laughs> and I also listen to Barris Hammond. From the outside, on fire! Wow. Brockton on top, 43 to 12. And we're hitting halftime. Well, the first half comes to a conclusion and Brockton leads 43 to 12. Brockton very much in control against Barnstable. You're watching BCA Sports, Peter Zimbor and Jackie Jones calling the action courtside. We'll step aside for a quick breather. When we return, second half action, stick with us.
It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is trunk driving. And we're back for the second half. Seven minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter as we have just started the second half. Peter Zimbor and Jackie Jones courtside calling the action. Brockton leads Barnstable 43 to 12 as we enter the second half of action. Jackie, few occurrences took place at halftime in which you would like to speak about. First off, you determined during the first half that your favorite teacher is Mr. Hogan and you've since reconsidered, am I correct? Well, not so much reconsider. Right now, me having him in class for this semester, I don't have. Well, my favorite teachers of all time of Brock and I is Miss T. So, Ms. so M Mr. Hogan can't hold a candle to her, is what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. You're saying I'm Mr. Hogan quoted. compared to Miss T, you stink, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. We actually got comment from Mr. Hogan uh, during <laughs> halftime on this, and he said to Jackie Jones, he said, Jackie, what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when Mr. Hogan runs wild on you, brother? <laughs> That's what he said. Any response to that? I, I have no words. No words to that. <laughs> no words There's to no that. way to constrain. Right. Just got the 20 inch pythons, he's gonna rip you apart. <laughs> 47 to 17, Brockton on top. 6:30 to go here in the third quarter. Well, we got that rectified. <laughs> so you need at least three people to be a group, right? No, I said three to four. <laughs> I said four to five. Okay, that means when that other kid comes back, no, he'll get on the action. He'll get in the action. And we're be gonna sing. We can do it right now with three. With three? Yes, we're gonna sing. All right. So, um, if you were listening in the first half, Jackie Jones. Uh, is getting over her fear of public singing as is a layup courtesy of Barnstable Brock and still leads 47 to 14 and uh, she's going to get over her fear of public singing she says that she needs to sing in a group of at least three so there's a gentleman to her left that is going to sing along with us so uh, what song would you like to sing Jackie Jones well, should we try the Tony Braxton song again do you know Tony Braxton he says no he she was very attractive in the 90s. My heart. She dated Curtis Martin. Then Curtis What's Martin that? kicked her to the curb. <laughs> you know Journey? Don't stop believing. Okay. Don't stop believing. He doesn't know that song. I think that song is terrible, but we can do it. Here we go. Just this a small town girl. girl. Go. <laughs> Living in a lonely world. So incredible. She took, took the midnight me. train going anywhere. Anywhere, yes. Just a small town <laughs> boy. Born and raised in South, South Detroit. Detroit. He took the midnight train going anywhere. She's over the fear, folks. <laughs> Singer in a smoky room. He's awesome. Smell of wine and cheap perfume. It's actually this kid that's not Jackie Jones doing most of the singing, folks. I'm sorry, folks. It goes on and on and on and on. Strangers. He could be the new singer of Journey. They kicked out. Like, was it Steve Perry? He's not the singer for Journey anymore. It's some Filipino guy who sounds just like him. This guy could take that job if that guy leaves. Absolutely. Tatiana Diaz with the ball. Sir, what's your name? Jeremy Matos. Jeremy Matos? Mm -hmm. Jeremy Matos doing his best journey impression here on this broadcast of Lady Boxers Basketball. Thank you for that, Mr. Matos. You're welcome. That's a cool name. Don't you think Matos, Jackie Jones? Absolutely. It's different. I mean, Jones is a cool name, but Matos. Yeah. I just like the way that sounds. I don't think anything compares to Jones. Jones is just Jones is a little generic compared to Matos. <laughs> Jones is like the all-time best last name in life. But a lot of people have it. Like, <laughs> Matos, I think, is where it's at right now. No, no, no. Jones will always be the top, the best, in the top ten. Well, 
so far in the broadcast, we've got you to finally sing. Uh, you you rapped a little bit earlier. I like rapping too. But you you're in a Mr. Hogan's acting class, so you can act. I can do a lot of things. I'm a Renaissance woman. Wow. Yes. What else do you do besides acting and singing and rapping? Um, I can dance. If you want to, <laughs> you can leave your friends behind. <laughs> hey, if your friends don't dance, well, then we don't dance, and they ain't no friends of mine. So uh, let's go with the acting, because we can kind of act in an audio way, because um, people can hear our voices. So let's just do some voice acting, okay? Okay. I can do accents. Uh, well, let's just... Let's, <laughs> get, what's your role going to be? And we'll do some improv. Um, How about I make up the roles? Okay. You are a... You are a disgruntled customer of cable television and I work at the cable company and you are calling me saying that we overcharged you $150 on your bill and we took it directly out of your bank account. You are the customer. I am the representative for the cable organization. Okay. Uh, begin improv in three, two, one. Hello? Hi, how's it going, Comcast Cable? What can I do? Um, actually, it's not going really well. Um, my cable is not working at all. And uh, it looks um, like that you're I've past paid, due. Pa- excuse me. It looks like you're past due, according to my records. No, no, I actually paid my bill last night, and I don't understand why my cable is not on. How did you pay your bill? By check? By credit? By credit. By credit. Yes. Hmm. My records show that you made no such payment last night. No, that that, that can't that can't be right. It, it, no, that can't be right. Just I for verification purposes, night. what is your credit card number? Seven five nine five zero three one. Click. She hung up. She has your credit card information right now, and she is using it to buy tons of stuff on Amazon.com. <laughs> That's how the story ends. What? <laughs> You have quite an imagination. That was your imagination. 50 to 14, <laughs> Brockton on top. 2.47 left to go here in the third quarter. And we've got a whistle. Foul call against Brockton. The Barnstable Red Raiders will head to the free throw line. What do you think there is to do in Barnstable? I mean, you said earlier you've never been and never heard of them. I, I, have, I have no idea. It I'm going to guess foreign. that there's horses there. And this is my, this is my, this is my thinking. Look at the name of the town, Barnstable. It's a combination of the words barn and stable. You have a stable of horses that you keep in the barn. Barnstable. I think it's a very rural area. I think, yeah, with cows and Perhaps cows. That. Cows, horses. What's your favorite animal? I, I'm not a fan of animals. Really? Well, actually, my friend Marissa has They're a... They're good to eat, right? Absolutely. I love chitlins, pigs. Chitlins is our pig intestines. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> you ever heard of pig feet? I've heard of pig feet, well, yes. Well, yeah. You do. So outside of animals that you don't eat, what's your favorite animal? Um, actually, I like small dogs. My friend Marissa has a little Yorkie. You like to eat small dogs? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, we were past that. I'm sorry. Yes. Continue. I like small dogs that don't bark a lot. That's the first bucket of the second half for Barnstable, and we are eight minutes about into the second half. So small dogs. Yes. Like what, chihuahuas? No, no, like Yorkies. Three-pointer. Yorkies and what else? Um, That's pretty much it. I like Yorkies. Not much of an animal guy. I mean, I, I, I... I think it's cool animals exist, but I don't want like a pet. You understand know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I actually have a betta fish, but I don't really consider that like much of a pet. I think it's like decoration. <laughs> Ooh, they're a living thing though. Do you feed them regularly? Yeah. Of That's course. good. My fish's name is Donna. Did you name it after Donna Summers? No, just Donna. Donna. <laughs> well, Donna Jones. Who's Donna Jones? You related to Donna Jones? No, that's my fish. Oh, your fish is a last name. I gotcha. (laughs) Donna. Donna the fish. She's purple and blue. Two very nice colors. 
that go well together. Purple is my favorite color. Do you like that Prince movie, Purple Rain? I actually didn't see that. Mm. Well, do you know what it sounds like when doves cry? No. Do, 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 do. Uh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. 53-16, Brockton on top. Buck 27 left to go here in the third. Does Donna the fish have any fish friends in the tank, or is it just simply Donna? Just simply Donna by herself in her own little tank. Do you think Donna gets lonely? No, I talk to her. <laughs> I'm just laying. <laughs> I, I don't think you're playing. I'm just laying. No, 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 no. I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm let's just... play another improv game. Okay. You are Jackie Jones, and you are talking to Donna the fish in three, oh my gosh. two. Are you Donna? Wait, are you Donna the fish? One. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Now, Donna doesn't react because Donna's a fish, so you just have to keep talking and saying things to Donna. Go. Hi, Donna. How are you today? Who are you guarding? What did you do today? Are you hungry? You look hungry. What do you want to eat? Beta food? Oh, that's all you have. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> all right. 118 left to go here in the third quarter. Brockton leads 53 to 16. Marshall on the inside, off the glass, no good. Giannisha Silva Moore tries for the rebound. I think she stepped out. Oh no, it was out of bounds before she even grabbed it, so it'll be Brockton ball. Jelani Jackson with the ball over to Giannisha Silva Moore. Silva Moore dishes it to the outside. Oh, that's gonna be off Jackson's foot. She dribbled off, out of bounds, sponsored the ball. Peter Zimborn, Jackie Jones, courtside. Jackie Jones, a senior at Brockner High. Class of 2014, XIV, who you want to be. She is in the Azure building. Her favorite teacher currently is Mr. Hogan, but he can't hold the candle to Mr. Taglia. She enjoys rapping, singing, acting, dancing, and has a fish named Donna. That's the best name ever, Donna. Brockton lays it in for 255-18. Brockton on top, 25 seconds to go. You know that information I just relayed? Do you know where I got that? Where did you get it? It's on your profile on match.com. What? <laughs> it is not. I didn't even have an account there. I know, I made that up. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 17. Yeah, I don't think you can have an account there. Yeah. I think so. I think when, yeah, when's 18. your birthday? August 31st. That's the best day ever, obviously. Uh, my birthday is August 4th, so are you Leo? I'm a Virgo. Virgo, all right, yeah. well, same month, you know. Yeah. Look at the August whole. is still the best, the best month. August ever. is a great month. Do you know who else was born in the month of August? Beyonce. Beyonce? Mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Oh, great. Third quarter comes to an end. Brockton on top, 55 to 18. Hulk Hogan also born in the month of August. I think the greats. Roger Clemens. Jeff Gordon. Why do I know all this? I don't know, but I, this I is actually know. factual. I have the same birthday as Barack Obama. Really? It's true. We have a lot in common. I mean... What else? <laughs> he has a daughter named Sasha and Malie. And? And I don't have any daughters, so <laughs> I was, I was going to try and say that I did, but I don't. He lives in a white house. I, I live in a white house. Actually, no. no I, it's gray. Gray. Yeah. Off-white, gray. <laughs> Uh, he's the president of the United States and the leader of the free world. Yeah, yeah I think I think I'm right there. <laughs> this game went by so fast. Well, Brockton is just annihilating the opposition right now. Right. Brockton is all over Barnstable. 55 to 18, Brockton on top. Eight minutes of basketball left to be played here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School.
Brockton takes on division rivals Durfee Friday night in Fall River, home of the Durfee Hilltoppers. That school is atop a hill, and uh, they top that hill, Durfee. <laughs> they are the Hilltoppers. Laying it up and in number one for Barnstable. And Tatiana Diaz took a little bit of a spill. She went down a little bit hard. She's up. She was just shaking a little bit. Not stirred, though. So you're into dancing. What kind of dance do you do? Um, I do all types of dances. Um, when I was younger, I used to take a jazz class, hip hop. I do liturgical dance at my church. Did you say liturgical? Liturgical. Liturgical. Yes. I was going to say liturgical in church. <laughs> I never heard of such a dance. <laughs> What's liturgical dance? Um, it's like I can't explain it. Um, liturgical dance, you just like move your body like into the way like the Lord tells you to move. You know what I'm saying? How does the Lord tell you how to move? I don't know, like how you feel. I, went to, have to see it for yourself. I went to a church in Miami one time, mm -hmm. and um, there was some liturgical dancers, and they had a band, and it said, come on, everybody, can oh. I do that conga? Yeah, right. Something, <laughs> something, 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 any longer. And I was like, wow, and they're all doing the conga. That's what the Lord was telling them to do. I, I guess so. The conga by Gloria Estefan. Who's, who's Gloria Estefan? You know who Gloria Estefan is? No. In the Miami Sound Machine? All right, if I'm going to Google Noel Jones tonight, you're going to Google Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine, and you're going to watch the conga on YouTube. It's, it's a great song. Okay. I will do that. You really don't know who Gloria Estefan is? I have no, no idea who that is. But you know who Kiki Wyatt is? Kiki Wyatt, yes, of course, I know who that is. She's the Guarantee best. a Gloria Estefan's cooler than Kiki Wyatt. I, I doubt it. Why do you doubt it? Because Kiki Wyatt is... Gloria like, Estefan best. is this rockin' Cuban. She's Cuban? She's Cuban, yes. Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine. Oh, Estefan. Es Estefan. It sounds like a little bit like Gwen Stefani. What's your favorite Gwen Stefani song? I, I'm not a fan. I just know who she is. You're not a Gwen Stefani fan? No. And by not a fan, you mean like you just, you know, you're not a fan or like you despise her? Oh, no. I'm just not a fan. Who do you despise in entertainment? I'm not a fan of Kanye West. Yeah, that guy's a dirtbag. I'm not a fan of Drake. You don't like Drake? No. I listened to some Drake today. I'm not a fan of him. You know, I have to say that our um, director, Paul Manneville, mm -hmm. I agree with him wholeheartedly on something he sent me a text. What did he send me? I don't like the band Journey, and I don't know why people do. Brockton's on top, 60 to 20, 40 point lead. Brockton's on fire. But yeah, back to Kanye West. That guy is a dirtbag. I don't like him either. Yeah, he just does too much for me. I, I don't like him at all. He's a piece of crap. Nice behind the back pass by Tatiana Diaz and Ali Brito off the glass. We've got a timeout called. It is called by Barnstable as they trail Brockton by 42 points, 62 to 20 with 5.43 to go. Yeah, Kanye West is a jerk. I don't like him. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Just a complete jerk. Like a waste of life. Why is that guy <laughs> a like... A waste of life. Like, why is he on this planet, let alone I, on my television sometimes? Know. Some people think that he's a genius. Like, Because they're stupid. <laughs> I would like to break Kanye West's jaw and <gasps> so we could do Through the Wire Part 2. Oh, my gosh. Get that? Because when he did Through the Wire the first time, his jaw was broken. Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, remember that? Uh, remember that song? Mm-hmm. Well, some of his songs are okay. Like what? what? I mean, like O and K. Um, 
What was this? Oh my gosh, it was under my head. Oh my gosh. I'd say a sheer go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that one's alright. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Get, get down. down. Yeah. Oh, and Jesus walks. Jesus walks. Yeah, I didn't care for Jesus walks. The video was crazy. It was like a few different versions of the video. Yeah. I think Kanye West thinks he's Jesus. I, I, I think he, he, no, I think he thinks he's God Almighty. Wow. I really do. I think he praises himself. Like, he's ridiculous. Some of the things he says. Right down through the wire. Even through the wire. That was the Through the Wire song. So if he was going to make a sequel of that, he'd have to have his jaw broken. <laughs> you, you know gonna, what I mean? You're going to be the person to do that. I mean, no, I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> I had a moment with Kanye one time. Are you serious? Yeah, me and, we, me and him had a bro moment. Really? I don't know if I want to tell this one on the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was in Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh-huh. I believe one of our cameramen, Aaron Tebow, may have been there for this moment. Really? Yeah, me and Kanye, he, 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 he gave me one of these. He saw me and gave me a, like a head nod. <laughs> it's a true story. Was that a... It was in 2004, I believe. At the Kiss 108 Jingle Ball. <laughs> when I was backstage kicking it with Kanye West. Do you have a picture with him? I don't. This 2004, no one like carried like cameras around. and. Yeah, they had like a lot of dis- disposables. Yeah, I wasn't really into that. You know, it wasn't like it wasn't an Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook world. MySpace wasn't even around yet. You know. Wow! I, wow! 2004. I got my I got a MySpace account my first week, uh, my last week of high school, because this girl wanted me to have one. Her name was uh, her name was Jessica, and uh, Miss T would remember her. I bet. She's like a short Puerto Rican girl. <laughs> I've actually never had a MySpace before. You never heard of it? No, I've never had one. Oh, I mean, you were like five, probably. How old are you in 2005? What, you were born? I was born in 1996. 1996, all right. So you were, yeah, you, you, you were... Like six, seven. August 31st, 1996. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Captain Crunch. Those crunch bar is the best. <laughs> Captain Crunch is amongst the best cereal mascots I can think of as well. Yeah. Like, who do you want on your side? Like, Toucan Sam, the Rice Krispies guys, Captain or Captain Crunch. Crunch? Captain Crunch. If I had to make, like, a Mount Rushmore of cereal mascots, I'd have Captain Crunch, Count Chocula, the Trix Bunny, the Trix <laughs> Rabbit, <laughs> and maybe the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. Lucky Charms, I love it. I like that cereal too. It's like one of my favorites too. I've done Lucky Charms in years. Really? I suddenly want some. Have you had cereal in years? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> 62 to 21 though. Brockton is on top. I can live off the of cereal. I think I can. Three-point attempt by the boxers. No good. So since you're acting, what's your favorite movie of all time? Or what's your favorite actor or actress? My favorite actor is Denzel Washington, of course. And my favorite actress... You, you told us earlier that you want a guy with an Arnold body with a Denzel face, so that makes sense. <laughs> I didn't say that. Did I? It's in the, it's in the lyrics to Shoop, so it's possible. Oh, oh, oh. Um... My favorite actress, um, it's between, okay, there's like three. Mia Long, Kerry Washington, and Taraji Henson. I don't know which one. Which favorite Denzel movie? Stick with him. John Q. I like Hurricane. Really? Yeah, I like Hurricane. John Q. I just love that movie. I love it. That was a shot clock violation. Brock now is the ball. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I've heard of that. What, what's it about? It's about this guy named Ferris Bueller <laughs> who takes a day off. Oh. Missed layup by Barnstable. 
and all the hijinks which ensue during this particular day off. Interesting. He goes to a parade, sings a song, catches a baseball in the outfield at a Major League Baseball game, goes to the art gallery in Chicago, has lunch at a high-end restaurant, pretends to be the sausage king of Chicago. It's a fun movie. I recommend you watch it. I will do one day. <laughs> wow. And foul called against Bonstable and Brocken goes to the line. It's Jelani Jackson. Oh no, she won't be at the line. I think she'll be inbounding. Uh, she'll be inbounding from down low. Hannah, hands up! Down low for Brockton, number 11. Tony Fairhurst. What's your favorite basketball related movie? Love and basketball, of course. Love and basketball. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say Space Jam. Space Jam? Yeah, I like that movie too. Favorite professional athlete? I'm not really a sports person, but... Um, Good thing you're calling a sports game. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, sports person. LeBron James, I guess. LeBron James, okay. Yeah. He kind of annoyed me for a few years. It was that whole announcement TV special, The Decision. Like, shut up. <laughs> Take my towels to South Beach. All right, good for you. Crush the hearts of all your hometown fans <laughs> and friends and family. And make the world watch it in a TV special. professional sports team? Heat. The Miami Heat. Yep. Goes along with the LeBron James thing. Yeah. Not the Boston Celtics? No. I don't like the colors. <laughs> you don't like the green and white? No. But I go to one of their games. You should go to a Miami Heat game in Miami. I do. That's what I want And to then do. you can see Gloria Estefan and the in what? Miami Sound Machine. Come on, everybody, gonna do oh, that comedy. Is, how old is she? Is she? Yeah? Hmm. Nah, Gloria Stefan, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna guess she's in her 50s now. I'm gonna guess. I mean, her heyday was like the 80s, early 90s, I'm gonna oh, say. Nice. But the conga gets the body moving. She said that's the conga? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps it could be considered lethargical if the Lord Hope danced that way. Of course. I think it's actually going to be a lot So how do you know what the Lord's telling you in relation to dance moves? Um, well, through my relationship with God. Okay. So I can almost like, like, I can almost like feel what He's telling me to do. What's He telling you right now? Uh, I don't know. To breathe. To life. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. <laughs> Bounce the ball. Lays it up. And in. 67, 23. Brock is still on top. Just 30 seconds to go in this game. You get 30 seconds to go. What's God telling you to say before we end this broadcast? <laughs> That everybody should have a nice night and traveling mercies. That they get home safely and go Lady Boxers. So God is a Lady Boxers fan. Well, I don't know. I'm just oh, he's just telling you. Okay, head. okay, I got you. God was telling you to say that, but we don't know. You don't know. I'm saying this myself. 
I'll tell you right now. Barnstable thinks God after this game. God's not good to them. Brockton is destroyed. Brockton should be thanking God. Well, maybe this is a lesson for Barnstable that they need to practice more. Do some more suicides. And by that you mean like running, not actual suicides. Oh no, you can't run it. Yeah, running. it's like a, it's a running term. I just yes. wanted to clarify that in case anyone, you know, thought otherwise. Well, the game is over. And Brockton has defeated Barnstable by a score of 67 to 25. Any final words for our viewers on the outcome of this game, Jackie Jones? Brockton in high spirits right now as they walk past us and shake hands and exchange pleasantries with Barnstable, who is in uh, less of good spirits. Nevertheless, they are showing and exhibiting sportsmanship. Any final words? Um, all, all I have to say is thank you for having me. And... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. That's Jackie Jones. I'm Peter Zimbor. Your final score, the Brockton Lady Boxers 67, the Bonsville Red Raiders 25. For everyone here at BCA and for Brockton High School, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.